As countries across the world wait for summer to set in, hope is rising that higher temperatures could kill the virus. Now, in the United States, where more than 468,000 people have been infected, people are anticipating wet and hot weather to help slow down the virus spread. However, the country's top researchers at the National Academy of Science have warned otherwise. A report released by the National Academy of Sciences, a not-for-profit organization in the U.S., to the White House is predicting that this summer's warmer and hotter temperatures will not be able to help limit the spread of the novel coronavirus. The findings of the research remain inconclusive. However, research so far provides no evidence to the virus spread being limited due to increase in temperature. The scientists concluded that the exact nature of the virus remains unknown and summer temperatures probably do not help in reducing the effect of the deadly pandemic. Now, the study was carried out by the members of the Academy's Standing Committee on Emergence, Emerging Infectious Diseases and 21st Century Health Threats, the Effects of Heat and Humidity on COVID-19. Dr. Anthony Forsey, the director of the U.S. National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, has also asked the Trump administration to not assume that weather can change uh, or stop the virus. Now, uh, addressing the press, he also said, and I quote, the virus will continue to do its thing. Scientists at the Academy of Sciences are still trying to understand if touching shared surfaces is a major driver of novel coronavirus. Further studies are being carried out to compare different kinds of transmissions, such as person to person or through animal carriers. But the main factor of how this virus could react in different environmental conditions is still to be ascertained, given the very little information available. Earlier, an experiment where the virus was exposed to higher temperatures under laboratory conditions had shown that uh, detection of the virus was marginal. And researchers also claimed that after 30 minutes at 56 degrees Celsius, no infection from the virus had remained. Now, their findings also suggest that for five minutes at 70 degrees Celsius, also the virus was inactive. Now, expecting lab created uh, higher temperatures than in normal conditions is impossible, and research has not yet proven that change in temperature could kill the virus. So, the National Academy of Sciences has said that it aims to update the U.S. administration in understanding changing seasons and its effects on the deadly coronavirus. With the threat of coronavirus infection looming large over its drivers, even when the lockdowns across the global cities are over, cab aggregator Uber plans to ship millions of face masks to its drivers and food delivery people around the world. Now, Uber will source face masks from all over the world as a long-term commitment, and the initial face mask order will come from a Chinese company that manufactures electronics and now produces ear loop masks. Uber has already shipped its first order of masks to drivers in New York City, the U.S. city with the highest number of infections of COVID-19. Now, ride-hailing demand has grinded to a halt in most U.S. cities, with a majority of Americans now under some form of lockdown. But Uber said it has seen a significant increase in restaurant food deliveries during the pandemic. Uber would also begin shipping disinfectant car spray at no cost to its drivers in the United States. The U.S. government has recommended Americans wear cloth face coverings on a voluntary basis to stem the spread of the coronavirus.